Mesh mixing parts and solids within Mesh Mixer is a lot of fun and allows anyone to quickly create a mashup of solids and parts with little know-how. Mesh Mixer installs a default library of open parts and solid parts which will get you started and you can expand on these by creating your own. The open and solid parts can be found in the Mesh Mix bucket and are categorized by their type, for example heads, legs, letters, primitives, and the category where you will find your own parts and solids you create. Adding an open part or solid onto another object is as simple as dragging and dropping. Let's say I want to replace this bunny's head with something else. Before I give this bunny a new head though, I'll select his existing head and I'll use Erase and Fill to give me a clean surface to drop a new head onto. Okay, now clicking the Mesh Mix panel, I can choose the category for heads from the category drop-down list. You see that these are open parts by the blue and white thumbnail for each head here. I can click and drag the head I want onto the top of the bunny object, which gives me some controls of how I want this to look. For example, I can move the head part by clicking and dragging the white sphere around into position. To rotate the part, click inside the circle and drag it around the center to rotate the part into the orientation you want. Finally, you can scale the part to the right size by clicking and dragging the triangular tab on the outside of the circle. You can go back and forth between adjusting these until you get something you like. For some more advanced options, you can click this little circle on the Mesh Mix Manipulator to toggle an orientation and twist control. Clicking the circle again toggles back on the default controls. Also, the Mesh Mix panel on the left will allow for some extra control. I'll click Accept to finalize adding the part to the bunny, and you can see the goose head has been added to the bunny as the same object. Solid parts are a bit different in that they don't attach to the existing object at an opening. Rather, they are combined, keeping intact their form. Here in the Primitives category, you can see these are solid parts, as their thumbnail shows a solid blue object in the bottom right corner. I'll use one of these objects as a geometric tail for my bunny. Here I drag it on top of the model again and can use the same type of manipulator as I did for the part to position it. What's different here is that the whole solid part is combined with the target object as opposed to the previous example of the open part where the goose head was attached to the target object. With this solid part added, I have some overlapping geometry where some of this solid part sits inside the bunny. To fix any overlapping geometry issues for 3D printing, I can perform a make solid on this object to create a clean healed mesh ready for 3D printing. You can see that the open bottom is also cleaned up here. You can adjust the parameters for make solid to get the accuracy and resolution you want. So here we've seen the difference between mesh mixing an open part versus a solid part. One last behavior I'd like to show is that if you drag any open part or solid part into an empty space in the scene, it inserts the object into that scene as a separate object. For example, here I drag a primitive solid onto the scene, which I can use for any editing or mixing with other objects. In another video, I'll show how you can create your own library of open and solid parts that you can use for mixing meshes in the same way.